Ich gehöre längst nicht mehr zur Welt der Sterblichen. Ich fürchte hier nichts und niemand. Willst du wissen, wer ich bin? Ich bin Vegeta! Hello guys, Mr. Shockwave King here. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm back. And you saw the title of the video. And yes, we are discussing the next major fight, the next major ordeal inside Hajime Ippo. Now I understand we just gotta finish with our, uh, with our fight with Kimura, but it's just like, you, you, we all know what type of fights if you're a Hajime Ippo fan I'm talking about. The next major fight, the next major encounter, and I don't know what it would be. I truly do not. But, uh, it is something to talk about in my opinion. Because, you know, anything can happen in the next few chapters. In the recent chapters, Kimura just got done with his bout. And I still don't know if he has given up on boxing or not. It's still not really explained. Because he kept on going back to that move where he's just like, you know, he's not going to let that in that promise. He's not going to let that in that promise, so. I don't know. But, uh, when it refers to who's going to be fighting, I, I don't know. We ever had Itagate fight anybody? You know, the speed demon, the speed machine himself. Well, take a look at how to still belong to Brian Hawk, but all the pins, all the pins, all the pins. But, uh, yeah, we just. I thought it would be a curious, curious cop topic. Crop it? Nop it. To talk about. And I just. It's just fed, it's just fed that, that I, I don't know. But we still got some fights to come up, alright? Obviously, the most major one, the most obvious one, would be a Freddy Gonzalez versus. Sendo, but we can't we can't use that as a cheap excuse, here, right? We still got Miata who needs to fight somebody. We just got that excellent fight with a <laughs> Mishiba like a machine gun with that left finger jab. Look at that machine gun. Shinobu get his face ripped wide open. We got to see the rise from Demon Mishiba to Champion Mishiba. Mishiba's final form, in my opinion. But uh, yeah. But let's, let's go to some candidates. Right? We still got Mr. Aoki. Because I do believe Aoki will at least become Japanese champion for a little while, and that's pretty much it. I don't know if Aoki's going to go anything else. It's, like a, it's not like a Kimura type situation. Can I let the roads are really reversed? And like, Epo used to be the run the later to a certain degree. Epo is just like, yeah, it, it is what it is. But now with Kimura, is just like, he's the main one struggling. And Epo's already retired, so, I don't know. Oh, also, you still think you're one of those people who think, oh, oh, it's called Hajime Epo. No. The English version of the title is Hajime no Ippo. The uh, uh, is the fighting spirit. I just, I just sounded stupid what I just said. But uh, the English title of the anime is called Hajime no Ippo. So you can't use that as cheap excuse. It's called Ippo. Is it gonna be? Oh, it's gonna be all about. Oh, this is not Naruto, damn it. If that were the case, Ippo would not be retired for damn long, and uh, we won't be seeing all this excellent with everybody else. But uh, yeah. We have not made him have a major serious fight with Takamura and share that Michael Goat thing. I thought that was going to be right? I thought it was going to be the shit. But Michael Goat was still KO and the fight was still good. And it was a learning moment for Epo in boxing and what he's majorly forgot. Because, you know, we already know how that, that, that Tony Guerrero fight started, uh, started and ended. And we already know why our boy Epo lost. Because, you know, in the stupid decisions and that goddamn new Dempsey So, what I believe the next major fight would be Epo returning? Personally, no. It's not out the random possibility, but I don't see why. And we haven't seen other characters like Void, Elizabeth, and Zangief either. Where is our boy Void is unknown to me, but uh, he's somewhere out there. He's out there as the champion. He's out there as number one. All right, he, he's doing he's doing his job. The Russian who has forgotten is now becoming top tier champion. A dream that he's always wanted to do, and now he's be, finally be able to make his mother proud by doing whatever he wanted to do. It's never too late, but uh, yeah, it's just I don't know who the next what, what could be the next fight. I don't know how how many people gonna go from here, as in what will happen. And shit, we all expect people to come back. That's obvious, but uh, that, that's 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 not as interesting as what, what what could be or the what ifs, the what ifs. So let's start off with Itagaki, the the rookie, the run, with well, the brand new run at the leap later. All right. Epo's inspiration was Takamura, and now Itagaki's inspiration go is uh, the great Epo Makanuchi. Makanuchi! So I say if he was gonna go against another opponent, sure, Ayami, as far as you know, is still the Japanese champion, and Itagaki still has to go. 
Now, will Shinoda set him up to be like that? Look, look. It's funny how Yagi don't train anybody, but Shinoda does. Well, no, no. Yagi does train. He's maybe like a corner man type of guy. He helps out, but doesn't really directly train like Shinoda does, because uh, cause, uh, Aoki and Shinoda are directly, are directly responsible by... But <laughs> Takamori Aoki is directly trained by Shinoda, so... It's that whole thing, that whole dynamic there. But if I do the Gake, what could potentially be his next fighter? His next major challenge? We already see how I could do it against a hard puncher. We already see how I could do it against a speed machine, but... How would we do it against somebody with a strong right jab and a monstrous right? In this case, an out, uh, outside boxer who's a long-range machine and don't let people get close up. Because even for an outboxer, you still need to connect your punches, and if you can't touch your opponent, then what can you do? What, what are you? You just fought it. That's all you pretty much are. So it's just, that would be an interesting case. It could be like a flick and jab type. Well, well that, that took we already had. Nah, nah, yeah, we kind of did kind of have that, that guy in the A-Class tournament, but... uh. We already know how the super gaps can be put on a world level by your boy Richard Bison, so who knows? Who knows? Who knows how far this can go? But the first uh, since Aoki already had a fight, we can't put him to the discussion. So the next one has to be your boy Aoki. Well technically they all already had fights, but Kamura had his most recent major endeavor. But the first to Aoki, we still got the Shinobu fight that still needs to happen. We don't know if Aoki's gonna challenge the Japanese champion. Ooh, well, yeah. The Japanese lightweight champion next or not. Another some more unknown variables there. But it could happen. It easily could happen. And it easily could be a showdown. But eh, is Oyoki ready for that level? Because we've already got the frog punch, the double punch, and everything in between. But is Oyoki truly ready for Shinobu? That, that that's only that should that's only something that Shinobu would know. Honestly. But it wasn't gonna be directly Shinobu next, I say Okay, we never really have fun like a strong outboxer either. But not less like a Mishiba type character, but more of a, a more of a, a more of a, a more of a what really? Because I already fought a man who's similar to him, even though you know, <laughs> and made this claim. What only thing that Ayoki was doing with a bag of tricks. So it just uh, who knows? Who knows? That's no, no, we don't. That's the tell you, but we haven't really had a Ayoki. Seriously, like, it may with the Yoki to a certain degree that they both have ugly looking girlfriends, which is a certain degree, because, you no, know, Timoko on a certain panel is just lovely. I don't know, maybe it's all about perspective or something. Yeah, ah, ah, ah. Some would describe it as being a butterface individual, but it's just. Besides for that first scene <laughs> where, like, they said, hey, look, <laughs> it's Yamada and Drag. <laughs> Besides for that, Kimoku don't look that bad at all. But, uh, now Yoko already had his encounter with a strong puncher, but I say an art boss would be a decent challenge for him. It's to a certain degree, Shinobu was not really, uh, it was also an inside fighter, not an out boxer. So, seeing Oyoki go and get like a, a Kimura type fighter, a counter specialist, because you know, if he, someone can outright just counter his frog punch. So, uh, uh, Shinobu did that. No, Shinobu murdered this man's career. That, 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 that's how that happened. He 100% murdered this man's career and just. Uh, Oyoki was not on that Shinobu level, and that fight was played with a bunch of revenge schemes and backstory before Sh Shinobu got destroyed by your boy Ryo Mishiba with a left right hand combination and ripping him wide open with the flicker jabs. I'm about to die. But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I said a strong outbox should be a decent opponent for Aoki. So, I say, what Epo next opponent would be? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see if Epo like, the next 50 chapters, which... I say the next 20 or 30, but... I don't know where the story gonna go at this point. The Hobbit Joe Epo is unpredictable, right? Anything can happen. I read, like, an entire story where Takamura takes a shit on somebody's head, or them, uh, Kimura pedophile allega <laughs> allegations! <laughs> <laughs> so where are you right now? I'm out without a girlfriend. Wait, 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 did you get the wrong, wait, wait, hey, yo, what happened? What's going over there? Did you get the wrong number or something? Oh, yeah, I got the wrong number, right? I'm calling the police! <laughs> uh, that was, he was just taking like, this local girl to a amusement park who was a child, because you know her father couldn't take her, but uh, of course, Kimura got to be the butt of the jokes. Of course. Why, why not? 
Why not? But uh, of course, to the main court. But no, we, we, we'll tackle Warwick. Because uh, Misha was outside here since he already had a major fight with Shinobu. So it's just, uh, when it first to uh, Vorg, I don't know if we get another major fight. We're going to catch it with Vorg. We might catch it with Woolly eventually. Because, oh shit! Yes! Itagaki versus Woolly! Where's the fight? That's the top fight of the year. Itagaki versus Woolly. be an amazing, sick ass fight. I don't care what anybody say. That would be excellent. We're already see how Wooly nearly demolished Epo. But is Itagaki on the world level yet? Or, yeah, is he on that level? Is he gonna shoot beyond? Is he gonna honestly shoot beyond? Oh, wait, 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 wait. Itagaki can honestly fight Miata. They're still in the same weight class. It, it, it's Itagaki shoot past Ayami. Just like how Epo sh just like how Epo shot past Miata and get the Japanese championship. Could this happen? Could this legitimately happen? I don't know. That'd be that'd be an amazing type thing if it does happen. But it's just I don't know, that'd be excellent. Is a guy could be Wooly doing the best fights ever made. Cause it's just like Wooly is a guy can fight so similar, but just like Wooly is on a different tier. His natural instincts of him not being able to go in the corner. You thought <laughs> you thought yeah. Seiki was bad. You thought Kawazawa was bad? No. It was like, he had a fought a person on the same level of Wooly. And since they both around the same age, it'd be a perfect opponent for Tagaki. Which technically, in my opinion, he could lose. Because Wooly was on that world class level. Wooly, to a certain circumstance, could defeat Epo. Epo didn't start doing the body blows. That's literally how it went. To the point where Miguel was just like, hey, look, look I don't know how much longer you can go with Epo, but uh, I guess you got to make the best out of all your merits. And it's like you're the best man, but uh, you might want to watch out for your for your star boy there. Cause I'm just like, what, you, what, 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 what do you mean? <laughs> He's like, what do you mean? He's just like being cool guy. We realize what he meant. But uh, yeah, that'd be an excellent fight. Either Gaki versus Wooly. Either Gaki versus Wooly would be excellent. That would be excellent. That'd be the best match made in Kevin. The already know what going on with Sin though. But uh, when it first to Miyata, so he had like, these major these semi skirmishes, but. I say giving Miyata that that semi hybrid that give me that that semi epo fight. What would it be like if I a person who get the mad weed? So technically we already had that to a certain degree, but it's just like eh, I don't think that would be too bad. Or give him like a counter beast machine flick a jab that person. Or well, Manny Pacquiao, the man who lays on the combination. So when the first of the great Takamura, since he is moving up to the uh, super middleweight class of boxing. Well, he still got cruiserweight, and the, you know, Hippo was the, the last one. Cruiserweight, then they got junior cruiserweight, then cruiserweight. I don't believe that personally, Top of is gonna make it to heavyweight. I think it's I might give out. I believe, I believe in that theory. Or I believe that he make five, but I do believe that Koragama would die eventually. Now, it, it is what it is. I love Koragama as anybody, but I do believe he is gonna die. And which will put Epo in a similar Mike Tyson situation. And what happened after Mike Tyson? What, what pretty much happened after Mike Tyson lost his trainer? Mike Tyson was never the same. He started to focus on pure power and no type of punch, com punch combinations and punches, and he was never the same person after that. But, uh, yeah, I think that would be an excellent endeavor. Nobody didn't notice this back here before. But, uh, yeah, but first to talk more, what type of fighter you can get him. We've seen the long range, we've seen the perfect puncher, we've seen the outright route, mount, mad men. I don't know what other fights you can come up with talk more. It's just. He's just that type of fighter where it's just like, it, he's pretty much fought everything. Yeah, 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 pretty much. Besides from a counter specialist. Since Takamura hit so goddamn hard, besides from my Richard Bison, able to catch him with that that, that uh, right feint. Oh, Takamura can't, can't stop an easy left hook. That wasn't just a left hook, it was a right feint into a left hook that Takamura could not see. Especially after he got his eardrum busted wide open, you fucking rookies. Sick of these little Jimmy trying to hop into this game. I don't understand how to do Paul. But uh, yeah, yeah, having having Takamura going against a very strong counter punch, uh, a counter punch would be an interesting endeavor. Son of a bitch. And uh, will it expose Takamura like it exposed? No, that's no. Cause Takamura is an excellent boxer, so it wouldn't be like a water type situation. Or like a later half of Mike Tyson's situation when Mike Tyson just started to throw away our skill and just start. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit him with the wombo combo melee. 
But uh, yeah, I, I, I don't really have any strong ideas for the next opponent Takamori is. It's one of those things where it's just like, Richard Bison just came along from a concept, in my opinion, just like, eh, what if I bring back the fucking jab and some other elements and you got, got the perfect fighter right in there? In my opinion, it's just, Richard Bison was excellent. So I don't know, I don't know what else George's gonna do with Takamori. Cause not, well, like, 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 seriously, just, I don't know what he can honestly do, because nothing that we really haven't seen. When it refers to uh, what Takamori can go against as far as, far as opponents. Well, we can get, and there's a lot of things that can inspire George Moore Kyra, especially with the recent heavyweight scene. We can get like an Andrew Ruiz type situation where guys, well, no, 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 you can never get that because in a smaller weight class. Oh, we can get, oh, next fight for Takamori. A switch hitter. A better version of Randy the Boy Jr. Since, in my opinion, Randy Boy Jr. was a disappointment. He was. He, he was a joke. He was getting his ass whooped for most of the fight until Miata stepped around. Stamina is not an excuse. He is weak. But making sure Takamori will go against a switch hitter. A switch hitter with a monstrous right. Or a switch hitter that's similar. Oh, it could be a switch hitter that's similar to Epo with the Bob and Weaving. A perfect representation of a complete version of the pick food stance, but with no Dimitri roll. Take with a Dimitri roll, be like a semi perfect version of a mini Mike Tyson. Could be based off of me like a, a Jared McCullen or a Nigel Ben type situation. Or, uh, uh, Julius the Hawk Jackson. Bingo, could be one of those type of situations. But, oh uh, yeah, guys, that's basically been a video. That's basically been my thoughts on, uh, what could be next for Hide No Epo. And sorry for the gameplay being garbage, because, you know, it's just, it's hard to talk and play a game at the same time. Why don't you just write a, I don't write scripts, and I don't feel like talking over just pure audio. So this is kind of the way I do my thing, unless I'm recording with the camera, and I do it that way, but, yeah. But, uh, yeah, it's basically been your boy, Shockwave King. Who do you think would be the next great fight in Hydrogen Evo? What do you think would be the, the next, or the future of Hydrogen Evo see Epo itself? So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I guess I'm going to say like, subscribe, and though nobody's going to watch it, but, yeah. Uh, that being your boy with Shockwave King and uh, peace.